All right. Today, I am going to change, put a tire on a wheel without a machine at home. I got that little thing from Harbor Freight, and that's only to break the bead. And I'm gonna show you. Well, break the bead is this here. So there is a, a hard part inside here, inside the, the uh, tire, and it gets like stuck in the wheel. So that thing there goes right in here and pushes it. So we're not gonna use that now. We're just gonna take, put the tire in the wheel. Let's do it. All right, so this is the wheel, this is the tire, and we need some thing like this, uh, just a spray, a sprayer water and soap so we spray here around the wheel uh, when you go to the tire places they do like grease or I don't know what what is that but this works so you pick the tire look at the uh, this one doesn't quite matter but I'm going to put uh, this thing on the outside so I'm going to I'm gonna show you what I mean because I'm, I'm changing those tires to go drifting. You see that this side here is worn, more worn than this. So I'm gonna put this side inside, this part inside, and probably this goes in front of my car. But anyway, so first thing, you just put a little bit like this and keep pushing in it. One thing I wanna show you, see the wheel has a, a let's call it dent, I don't know, a indent right in here this is what we use as a leverage to put the tire in the wheel so put one side and keep pushing it if you put your knee here go to that area and keep pushing it most of the times just pushing it is enough to get this in uh, but if it's not you need some of those tools here Right? All right. So what I'm gonna do is, see this part here? I'm going like this, flip it, and do like, do like this, flip it, step on your wheel, and then, boom, done. So one side, one side inside. More so. All right. So put everything you can with your hands. Be careful with your fingers here. I never got mine stuck, but it doesn't sound like like one. And always you do like this. Put like this, twist, and then you lever. So. Uh, the leap up, twist, go all the way down, little by little, do it. And keep your foot on the other side so it doesn't undo it. Put in there, twist, go there, a little by little. Okay? Careful with your face. Put in there, twist, get closer, little by little. If you have two, there's the other side, it has this little U here, like a spoon. So you spoon it, it's gonna help you take that one out. Too much. See if I can go your way if you can see enough. I'm gonna move this here. We don't want this side to undo. So every once in a while you get in here and 
push it to that part. There you go. There you go. Put your feet there. I'm going to try. By the way, and boom, there you go. So, see this here, when I use the U, there are two sides on this thing. This side, which we put like this, flip it, and then dig it. And this side here, which we put in here and pull it, it helps pull the whole tire under that big lip. Remember? So that's pretty much it. Let's uh, screw the little thing and put some air on and we're good. All right, so you can buy a little kit like this. Uh, it costs pretty cheap and then you can fix your tire. There's some glue, uh, anyway, a bunch of stuff and most important, some of this here. So you put that in there and this side here you just keep screwing you don't want to screw the crap out of it just a little bit now it's getting tight i'm just going to screw a tiny bit more and then boom all right now time of the year to put air so look what's happening look at the sides of it Let me see if I can make it lighter. Sometimes it's like the hole in here is a little bit um, too close to the tire. So you push with your knee, otherwise it's not going to fill up ever. So what I usually do is go to the other side use this do like that it's gonna help push the tire and then sorry for my finger come in here and do it again okay so if this happened to you the air is escaping you take the tire put it up and do like this then the bits will move around and then you can try again so now, yep, there we go. One side, it's gonna be an explosion. That's pretty much it. There's one more there. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be loud. I'm gonna put some soap. Don't put your finger there in any circumstance. Come on. It's gonna be loud. Oof. Right. And of course, that kit also comes with this here. So you can see how much air you put in there. Uh, in my case, because I'm drifting, I need 41. But uh, probably for you, 28 to 32 would be enough. Yep. There you go. And that's how you do it all right so I hope you enjoyed and I'm doing this because I'm going to drift but there are many reasons why I would do this at home um, like getting ready for winter you don't have less Schwab stuff that does that for free or whatever it is and um, cool so if you like hit the like button subscribe to my channel all the links um, for the stuff I've been using it will be here 
on the description so expand the description and you're gonna get everything there and also check out my website www.carmodsgarage.com later Thank you.